It's -a me, Mario. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Simo Qureshi. I'm not sure if you remember me from last year's vlogs, but I'm back and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for people who are watching, but cheers. So, this vlog, I'm gonna show you all the residences here at UNB, Fredericton, um, as well as give you a tour of the residence that I live in. Another bonus is that this weekend is Halloween weekend? Halloween weekend? This weekend is Halloween weekend. So October 31st, which is next week. Um, that's when like actual Halloween is. But this weekend, oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, look at that. Anyway, sorry. Woo. So I'm gonna show you a few of the festivities for Halloween that are happening inside Neville tonight. But for now, I'm gonna show you all of the residences here. So let's get started. Over here is Aitken House. Aitken House is an all male residence. Right here. Oh, we have my friend, Fish. Say hi. Do you recommend UNV? Uh, 110%. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Fun fact Neil is actually Neville's twin, so they look exactly the same, just like a mirror version of the house. That right there is the student union building. The student union building is excellent for resources. So in case you're looking to learn more about what the student union does, or perhaps you have a meeting in that building, that's your place to be. My favorite part about it is that there's Tim Hortons there. So clearly that's the place I go every single day. Bridges house, very nice. That right there is McLeod house, very nice. Now we're gonna go to my alumni house where I started. So right now I've been a proctor at Neville Jones for three years. But before that, as an innocent first year, I started off at Joy Kid House. Do, 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 do. What's up? Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> All right, folks, now we're gonna show you, uh, I showed you the all-male residence, and now we're gonna show you the all-female residence, which is Lady Dunn. I'm not very good at this walking backwards thing. I was just saying that. Oh, yeah. Lady Dunn. Look at all the seagulls on top of Mac. Is it like that scene from Finding Nemo? <laughs> mine? 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 mine. <laughs> so the house directly behind us, let me focus it here. Oh, my head is in the way, there we go. Is Mackenzie House and Shanice actually can speak to a lot about that. She was there for two years, and in my second year, I was the vice president on house committee. So oh, okay. she's so what she's saying Not is a big, no big deal, but oh, bro, you stole my line. Anyways, okay, so tell us a little bit about a little bit about Mackenzie House. They have a lot of fun traditions, and it's like basically a big family. One of my favorite ones is the first snow closure. So the first snow day where the snow closes, we put on some Hawaiian gear and we go to meal hall. So it's very cold, but worth it. Cause you get a cool picture of you in Hawaiian clothes in the snow. A lot of folks say that LVR looks a lot like what, um, say like Hogwarts would look like. It's very like Harry Potter vibes. Pretty cool. I didn't even look both ways across the street. So don't be like me, everyone. Um, but yeah, so pretty majestic, very traditional type residence. It's also really good if you're more of a person who prefers like a quiet, place to study because LBR isn't known for being super super loud um, so that's a plus hello I'm vlogging <laughs> let's see your costume it's a me Mario <laughs> perfect so I just got back to my room in Neville Jones and now I'm about to show you a real nice looking room. It looks like something off of Pinterest. Um, I wish I was on their level, but yeah, so we'll take a look there now. Hello. Hello. See what I mean, everyone? See how? Oh, and this Hello. is Elsa. <laughs> and this is Lauren. <laughs> um, and just look how beautiful their room is. Like, what the heck? So if you're gonna come to Neville Jones or even Neil House, um, a lot of these rooms, in fact, Neil and Neville are identical. This is what you would get. So you get a lovely bed, two, well, two lovely beds, and then two desks, 
fancy. It's probably gonna be like the cleanest and best room you've ever seen. <laughs> that Neville has ever seen at least. Very homey vibes. So now I'm gonna show you folks the rest of Neville Jones starting from the pit floor. Right now I'm on the second floor. That's my room right here. Here we go. So this right here is known as the fishbowl. Everyone's mailboxes. This is the pit floor lounge. So if you need to do laundry, this is where you come. If you just want to hang out, play some nice pool. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah. A little good old laundry on a Saturday night. This right here is my favorite part of the house. Heck yeah. So now we're gonna go upstairs to, or we'll walk through the rest of the pit floor lounge and then we'll go upstairs to first floor and I'll show you folks that as well. So, fun fact, all of Neville's hallways look identical and you'll see what I mean. This right here is the first floor study lounge. So we spent a lot of time in here. Someone had a lot of fun with balloons. Cheers. And you have a little mini room in here in case you want a little bit more privacy and silence when you're studying. A little mini kitchenette. Then we have the first floor lounge. A lot of times during the weekends especially, folks come in here to just watch some TV, play some games, just chill, have a good time. So everyone, I am joined by a very special, emphasis on special, um, dude, none other than Captain McMacken, who is our house president. Um, so Kev, what has been your favorite part about living in Neville Jones? My favorite part about living in Neville Jones is the overall community and the diversity that each student brings, as well as the energy um, that they bring with them to the house. <laughs> What are you wearing? Uh, this is uh, the Daily Fit. Um, these are $3,000. $2,000 Polo Ralph Lauren. $50,000 Rolex iced out, yeah. Oh wow, look yeah, at that Yeah, 100%. Ice. These are uh, $10. <laughs> are, you, are you guys listening to this? Can you take this guy seriously? I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. McMacken. Hey, no problem, anytime. <laughs> okay, so I just found oh, the cutest oh, Halloween oh, costumes. No. Look at these cuties! Introduce yourself, folks. I'm Velma. I can't see you. <laughs> Jeepers, I'm Daphne. <laughs> Who is this handsome stud? Hi, I'm Nick Oh, yeah, that's not legit. Here, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So. As mentioned before, I'm going to speak a little bit about my experience living in residence, why I chose to live here in the first place, how that led me to becoming a proctor, and what I've loved best about it. So, this all started four years ago when I applied for um, the Renaissance College program here at the University of New Brunswick, and I got accepted, so that was awesome. And then my next question was, where do I live? Do I live on campus? Do I live off campus? And my decision in choosing residence was um, not a super detailed one, it became pretty pretty clear to me um, very quickly. Um, one being that I don't really know how to cook, um, which is quite awful, so I was like, I need me a haul. Um, number two, this was probably the one that weighed in the, hev the heaviest, and that was I wanted to be surrounded by people that I knew I could socialize with and that I had the easy opportunity to make new friends. I knew that living off campus sometimes would hinder me from that because I would just mainly go to class and then come back and study. Um, so I knew I wanted to live in a community where there would be people constantly and I could always like meet new people and say hi and just even study together, socialize together, it would be an easy fix. And then probably the last reason I chose to live in residence was how close it was to class and how convenient that was for me. Um, it sounds really bad, but I'm very lazy, so I was like, I don't want to walk like 20 minutes every single day to get to class. Um, the irony being that I picked Renaissance College as my program, and that that building is about a 15 minute walk from campus, um, but that's fine. Uh, you, you lose some and you win some, I guess. Ultimately, I think my favorite thing about being a proctor and living in residence is how many people you get to meet every single day. 
you always interacting with people. If you're ever alone or you need someone to talk to, there's always someone down the hall, next door, on another floor that you can just chit chat with. If you want to socialize for a little bit, you can go into the lounges. If you want to study, you can come to the study lounges. There's usually always someone here um, grinding away at their schoolwork, sometimes crying because school's hard. But you know what? We, we stick with it, we get through it together. There we go, so that's essentially my favorite part, is the community that we get to experience when living in residence. The people we meet, the new friends we make, and the smiles we share, which I know sounds very cliche, but it's truly where I'm coming from. At the end of the day, lots of ways to get involved with residence, and I 100% recommend it to anyone who's considering it. Cheers, all right, bye.